I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the website Global Math Institute, and the WhatsApp group Free Math Solutions. Through these three media, we are trying to help all the students globally, providing them with solutions of their questions free of cost. You can actually join our WhatsApp group to get immediate answers. There are many active members volunteering their time to provide you with help and support. Now here is a question from one of our subscribers. This time I've taken exactly the same question which has been posted. Well, normally I'm trying to provide you with similar questions solution so that you understand the method and then solve your own question yourself. So that is the type of teaching which I provide normally on my YouTube channel. However, this time the question is, why are you changing the questions? So this time I haven't really changed you the question, but I'm providing you an explanation for why I do change questions. It is much easier for me to solve exactly the same question which you are asking, but it's very difficult to make an example similar to that so that you understand and then solve your own question. It's like teaching you fishing rather than providing you with a fish on the plate. So here are the two questions which you asked for. We need to eliminate theta from the equations. So these are the two equations, two set of equations given to us. Let's first understand what does it really mean? Eliminate theta from the equations. It is an extremely important question and I hope its solution is going to help many others. So in these questions you will find x is equals to sine theta, y equals to b tan theta. Using these two equations, we have to eliminate theta. Similarly, in the second question, we have 2 secant theta, y equals to cos 2 theta. We need to eliminate theta. How do we do that and what is the strategy behind? And that is to use the trigonometric identities. And therefore, I've kept this topic here as trigonometric identities. And one of the important application is to solve simultaneous equations and eliminate the argument theta. Now, how do you really do it? Basically, you know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So from the first question, right, what we could do is we can find what is sine theta and what is cosine theta. Once you get those values in terms of x, a, y, b, in that case, you can substitute in this particular equation and get your answer. The second question is also very similar. However, we have cos 2 theta. You might have to use the formula cos 2 theta is equal to what? Is 2 cos square theta minus 1. The value of cos square theta you can get from the first part, right? The first equation. So I hope you've got the concept. At this stage, you can actually pause the video, answer the question. Here are my solutions to the same question. 1a. We are given two equations. One is x equals to a sine theta. So from here, we can write sine theta is equal to what? Well, sine theta is equal to x over a. And the second equation is y equals to b tan theta. Now, tan theta could be written as the ratio of sine and cosine, right? So we're writing this as sine theta over cos theta. Now from here, we can write what is cos theta, right? So that's the whole idea. We have to get what is sine theta and what is cos theta. So from here, we can write cos theta is equal to b over y times sine theta, correct? Now, sine theta value is known to us. We are saying sine theta is x over a. So I could substitute that in here. And so what do I get? I get cos theta as equals to b over y times x over a. Or you could write this as bx over ay. Perfect. So that is cosine theta. So we get the second equation, which is cos theta. And now, as I was saying, we'll use the identity, which is sine square theta plus cos square theta 
is equal to 1. So sine square theta means, I could write this as x over a whole square plus cosine square theta means, I could write this as bx over ay whole square equals to 1. And this equation you find it is independent of theta. So we have eliminated theta from our equation. Does it make sense to you? Now in books, answer could be there in different forms. So you could actually rearrange into the form required. So let me write a note here, rearrange in required form. Perfect. So that is how you should be doing it. Now let's take the next example, which is b equals to x to secant theta and and y is equals to cosine 2 theta. So let's again begin with what is given to us as x equals to 2 secant theta. Now secant theta, as you know, is 1 over cos theta. So from here, you can say cos theta is equal to what? Just cross multiply, you get 2 over x. So that becomes our first equation. Correct? Now, the second equation in this particular case is y equals to cos 2 theta. Now, you also know that cos 2 theta can be written as 2 times cos square theta minus 1. So, that's another identity which you learn for double angle. Now, in this, you could substitute the value of cos theta equals to 2 over x and then eliminate theta altogether. So, that's the idea. So, we'll write 2 times so this is 2 over x whole squared minus 1. So we get an equation which is y equals to 2 times 4 over x squared minus 1. Or we have this equation as y equals to 8 over x squared minus 1. Of course, you can rearrange this also in the form required and then write down your answer. Correct. So for example, if you just cross multiply, you get x square y equals to 8 minus x square. And then you could write this as x square y plus x square equals to 8. That could be the final answer. But anyway, it could be any combination of these which do not have theta in them. You get the idea. So that is how we have to solve these equations. Using trigonometric identities from the given two equations as it is in these cases, we could eliminate theta and that's how we should be doing it. So I hope with that you, are, you have understood the technique. So I'd like, to, I'd like you to work out a few examples from your book, Gain Confidence, and you can place a remark here, a note if you have really understood the process. Thanks for your time and all the best. Once again, you can always join our WhatsApp group. I'll provide you with the link to join the group so that you can get immediate help. I will also be providing help on YouTube, but selected questions since I cannot take the amount of questions which we are getting these days. But we are there and all the three platforms will provide you with free services all the time. Thanks for your support and suggestions. All the best.